Let's say that you're an aspiring card collector. There are n different types of cards and of course you want every single card. The way you collect cards is by opening packs. Each pack of card contains one card and is equally likely to get any single of the n cards. The question is, how many packs do you need to open to get every single card? This question is the coupon collector's problem, a classic problem in probability theory. More formally written, the question states, given n coupons and equal probability to draw every single coupon, what's the expected value of the number of draws we need to perform to get all n coupons? Before I talk about the actual answer to this question, let's go over what an expected value is. Given some probabilistic event, like flipping a coin, the expected value is just what we predict the outcome to be. In the sense of flipping a coin, we expect heads to show up half the times and tails to be the other half. So if I flip a coin 10 times, you would expect 5 heads and 5 tails. This doesn't mean that it's always going to be 5 heads and 5 tails, it's just the average of every single outcome. The way we calculate the expected value of an event is the weighted sum of the outcome times the probability. Let's say you and I are playing a coin flipping game. If the coin lands heads, I give you $10. If the coin lands tails, you give me $5. From this game, we can construct this tree diagram. Consider each of the outcomes from your point of view. If it lands tails, you get $10, and the chance of this is 0.5, so we weight this outcome with the value and multiply them together. This results in a value of positive 5. Similarly, we lose $5 for the other case, and this also has a chance of 0.5. So if we multiply them together, we get negative 2.5. And so our expected value is the sum of these two outcomes, which is 2.5. The fact that our expected value is positive means that we will win if we keep on playing this game in the long run. This is expected since we make more money when we win than when we lose. In general, the expected value of some event x, e of x, is the sum of all x of i times p of i, where x of i is the outcome of the ith event and P of I is the probability of the ith event. Let me introduce the idea of a Bernoulli trial. If you remember, a trial is just some random experiment, like flipping a coin or drawing a card. Essentially, calling a trial a Bernoulli trial is a fancy way of saying all the following conditions. First, the trial has to be independent. Next, the trial must have only two outcomes. And lastly, the probability of a success is the same for every single trial. Let's consider flipping a coin. Flipping a coin is definitely independent, since the previous throws does not affect the outcome of the current throw. Flipping a coin has two outcomes, heads and tails, so it passes requirement too. And lastly, a coin flip always has the same probability. And so, flipping a coin is a Bernoulli trial. However, drawing a card without replacement is not a Bernoulli trial, since the probability of getting a certain card decreases with the number of cards drawn, so it fails condition 3. Why is this important? Let's consider repeating some Bernoulli trial with success probability p. The expected value for the number of trials before a success is 1 over p. Let's consider a dice roll. Let's define success as getting a 5, and a failure as anything else. We know p is the probability of getting a 5, which is 1 over 6, and the expected value for the number of throws before getting a 5 is 1 over p, which is equal to 6. Which makes sense, right? If we roll the dice 6 times, we expect 1 out of the 6 rolls to be a 5. Okay, now let's finally go back to the original question. Given n coupons an equal chance of drawing each coupon, What's the expected value of the number of coupons to draw before we get every single coupon? Let's first consider the case when n is equal to 5. Let's draw one coupon. The chance of us getting a new coupon is 100% since we don't have any coupons. Now we have 4 coupons that we don't have and 1 coupon that we do have. So the chance of us drawing a new coupon is 4 over 5. So let's draw a new coupon. And now? We have two coupons, and we have three coupons that we don't have. 
so the chance of us drawing a new coupon is 3 over 5. In general, for n is equal to 5, if we have i coupons, the chance of us drawing a new coupon is 5 minus i over 5. Writing this with our variable n, we can say that the chance of us drawing a new coupon is n minus i over n. Now consider the probability of drawing the first new coupon to be p of 0, and the second new coupon to be p of 1, and the third new coupon to be p of 2. So p of i is equal to n minus i over n. We can consider each of these probabilities p of i to be an individual Bernoulli trial. So using our formula for the expected value, we know that the expected number of trials before a success is 1 over p. So the expected number of draws before getting the i to new coupon is 1 over p of i. Using the formula derived above, we can say that the expected value of the number of draws before getting the i coupon is n over n minus i. Let e of n denote the expected number of draws to get all n coupons. We can say that e of n is equal to e of n minus 1 plus 1 over p of n minus 1. This makes sense, it's just the same thing that we derived earlier except written formally. If we use the same formula again, using the fact that e of n minus 1 is equal to e of n minus 2 plus p of n minus 2, we get this. If we do this again, we get e of n minus 3 plus this sum. And if we keep doing this until 0, we get e of n is the sum of p of 0 to p of n minus 1. And above, we derive that 1 over p of i is equal to n over n minus i. So if we write this whole thing up, we get this really long sum, which we can factor n from. So we get n times 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus dot 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 until 1 over n. We call this the nth harmonic number. And there you have it. The answer to our original question is that on average, we would have to draw n times the nth harmonic number of coupons to get all n coupons. I've created a nice visualization that shows the progression of this value for an increase in n. This function is actually bounded by some function of order n log n. Making visualizations like these are tricky. A lot of people ask me how I got around to learning and making videos. I use a library made by 3Blue1Brown to animate my videos, but I heavily use video editing software to piece together clips and audio to recreate a final video. If you want to learn how to edit videos or learn any skill, I highly recommend this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare has hundreds of courses to help you learn, refine, and master any skill from video editing to animating to cooking. There's even a discrete math class, which teaches you all about topics like the one covered in this video. The first 1000 people to click the first link in the description get 2 months of Skillshare Premium for free. After that, it's less than $10 a month. Again, thanks to Skillshare for making this video possible, and thank you for watching.